Ahoy there, me mateys! This is Rice of the Pirate, and welcome back to the Minecraft series! You do know I'm here too. Oh, sorry about that, Disco Bear. That's me bad. So Kevin told us that Sniffles and Naughty found some little ancient debris, and they managed to make some netherite. Not 100% sure what they made. Maybe it's something that can fit my style, you know? <laughs> Disco Bear, I don't think that this netherite armor is made for you. Well, you never know. Wow, Kevin really did some work. It's got the full armor set, and as well as a sword and a pickaxe. Really cool. So what Kevin's got for us is, he's got some little, uh, tasks for us to do. He made a list for us. He got it in my hands. What's it say? Well, first things first, he wants us to go find another fortress, find some nether warts, find some loot, complete the farm, bring farm animals. It looks like it's a bright way for now. But how are we supposed to find another fortress? He's got a book and quill for us. Oh, like this. The horn portal is X120. Y39, Z69. The nether fortress is X206 and Z572. Well, that's gonna be interesting. I guess I'd be going first. Fine by me. Just be careful in there. Don't want you to uh, slip and uh, lose your balance. This go bad. I'd be fine. I'd be perfectly fine. So Kevin actually had to go into creative mode. The little cheater. But he couldn't find the nether fortress. So at the last second, he had to look it up to find the nether fortress structure through the seed. We had to go to X. X206 and 572. It isn't too bad. So going right, the Z goes up. And going straight means that the X goes up. We're pretty new to this, but we need to get one step at a time. Oh yeah, Kevin also forgot one more thing. We need blaze rods. So here's a blaze rod. You said that they're supposed to be used for the brewing stand and as well as for the blaze powder. If we don't find any, then we won't be able to make some potions. Well, we better get started. We gotta hurry up over there. Yar! Arr! I fell in lava! <laughs> That's funny. Not funny! It was an accident, okay? <laughs> it was funny because you jumped in on accident. You're falling again. I won't this time. I'm pretty sure I know where I'd be going. Well, you're supposed to know where you're completely going. You only have one eye showing. Arr! Arr! No, 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 no. I'm dead. <laughs> really? You already died? Shut up. All right, if I don't want to die again because I have no armor, let's put it to peace for real quick so I can get me stuff. Kevin's not going to be happy that I died this early. Careful not to slip while I accidentally um, lost me footing because my legs are two peg legs. Welcome to the life of a pirate wrestle. Oh, thanks, Captain Obvious. Better hurry and get to the spot where he died. Otherwise, all these stuff's going to despawn. I heard some stuff burn. I hope it was nothing really important. If it was, then we're probably screwed. Unbelievable. I'm freaking believable. I'm mad. I'm laughing. <laughs> I'd like to see you try to get over that thing. Is this a bet? Because me. Yar! 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 Russell, what is wrong with you? I'm trying to be careful. All I'm doing is just being clumsy. I lost the map, I lost the book and quill, I lost the armor, I lost the pickaxe, I lost the food, I lost the sword. I think I lost the bow and arrow. Now where did I die? I think it might have been over here. Oh yes, here we go. Okay, let's grab everything and let's see what I lost. Oh, thank God, I didn't lose the book and quill. Arr, I lost most of me food. I lost the pork chops. I lost the sword too. Well, this was uh, not going as planned. No, it was not. We're gonna have to go back for this stuff. Clumsy, clumsy pirate, I tell you. Really doesn't fit your groove. Well, this is a dangerous place. What do you expect? I expect you to be careful. I can't believe I lost a lot of stuff. Kevin's gonna be pissed. He's gonna probably be yelling at you. Okay, here's the exit. We're gonna have to make some new iron armor. Well, is the exit again? Come on, Russell, use your brain! Exit's not that hard to find. It is to make it a challenge. And I don't want it to make it a challenge. I want it to be easy. Not everything in this world's easy. Exit, what are ye? Here it is. Yar! Alright, we're gonna go back and make some stuff. Arr! I lost the map. Oh no, Kevin's gonna kill you. I hate me life. Oh yeah, while we're here, we're gonna have to show you what Kevin collected. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. He collected flint, gunpowder, an enchanted book with thorns one, red mushrooms, and sometimes he goes with the Super Mario mushrooms. Don't question it. Brown mushrooms, solar sand, bones, magma cream, glowstone, gold ingots, I like gold. Yar! 
apples, warp stem, lapis lazuli, redstone, wart fungus, diamonds, beetroot seeds, crimson fungus, crimson stem, crimson roots, pufferfish, leather, string, three balls, nine tags, an egg, golden apples, spider eyes, pumpkin seeds, two pieces of golden horse armor, melon seeds, lead, sugar canes, iron ingots, chests, water bottle, a saddle, iron horse armor, and oak fences. A lot of stuff you claim. I can't believe I died because of that. Maybe I should have some knockback resistance on. Maybe you should probably put that nutter rat on or on. It's for later, Disco Band. It's for when we fight the Ender Dragon. And will we, us two, be able to fight it? I'm not 100% sure. Alright, we're gonna be making no pieces of armor. Oh yeah, we need to take off the iron boots. We need to put the gold boots on. If you're wondering why, because we need one piece of gold armor. Otherwise, we're gonna be attacked by the Poglins. I heard those Poglins are not very nice. Unless you give him some gold. I'll take like 16. Because we've heard if you give a gold ingot to the Poglins, then he will give you something in return. Like what? I don't know, some obsidian? Useful tools? I'm not sure. Does that look like I know? No, it doesn't. Maybe you should bring those two potions. Oh, these? Yeah. Don't insult yourself. You're not an idiot. Everyone dies. Well, that is kind of true. You can't always judge yourself because of your actions. I barely do that. And do you always talk to yourself like that? Saying you're a failure? No. No. Never. Not all the time. Then exactly. That's what you're not supposed to do. Well, you're talking to yourself saying, uh, I'm a failure. I'm an idiot. Well, it's because I wasn't paying attention, okay? So where do we need to go again? 206, 572. Alright, we're at 206. Now we just need to keep going this direction and not run into giant magma cubes. Otherwise, they'd be walking a plank. And you even have a plank? Yeah, I do. I just need ship. Okay. Just making sure. It's a lot of gravel here. Is it like snowing gravel or something? Maybe it's just as simple as that. You barely knew about this place. You managed to survive while swimming in the lava. Well, I fell in the lava like two or three times and the magma cube killed me. No, you actually burned to death. Arr, now you're just making me feel stupid. You're down yourself again. I'm trying not to. Kevin made a specific path to get up there. But I can't remember where he did it. It's further down? Arr, here we go. So what Kevin told us that there's chests in here that have specific loot. Arr, Right, we are in, and we have a chest right here. Nether wart, yar! Look at that, we already found stuff. And a diamond. What's in this? A golden sword. Alright, we might need to use that. A saddle, flint and steel. Well, we found nether wart, but I know there's more, because they're supposed to be growing on soul sand. Well, you're on the chest. Just in case we need extra space. Don't forget, Russell, we also need to find blaze rods. Alright, let's see if the stealing works. Ahoy there! Would you like a piece of gold? Here you go. Oh, he dropped something. Why are your charges? That's not what I want. Let's try again. Ahoy there! Would you like a piece of gold? Hopefully, you give me something good this time. Don't give me fire charges. I'm a clean. You are. Thank you. Here, have another. What do you got this time? Oh, that's new. What did he drop? Crying obsidian? What the heck's the crying obsidian for? I've never seen crying obsidian before. That looks pretty cool. Let's see it. It's basically obsidian, but it's got purple veins. Very weird. Kevin's saying you're supposed to take a right here. No, go down again, and then take another right. Ah, looks like he found a blaze spawner. Perfect. And he cleared up the ceiling. Is it on easy? No, oh, it's on peace. Arr! So many blazes! You mean by multiple, there's only two. Oh no, we got the blaze run. We can craft a glowing stand. Kevin said not to put a torch around these spawners because they won't spawn if you put torches around them. Crying City is used to create respawn anchor. What the heck does that mean? I don't know. We need to get a look more in depth into it. Die, you scallywax! Give me your blaze rods! Give me! Thank ye. Yar. So when will I play? When I go to bed. Arr! Back up! Oh, let these two doesn't fight. I'm going to hit by that one. Gun said those guys will give you a win if I could they touch you. And I don't want that. No, thank ye. Maybe I should farm these guys a little more. Just get a couple more. Arr! You're already broke. That's not very good for tools. If I were these warts, where would I be? Maybe where stairs are? Yar! Look at that! We found the nether warts. Let's grab them all and take them back home. Oh, there's more nether warts here. Yar! More nether warts the better. They could be useful. For potions. Well, I can check the nether ones off the list. Arr! Me shield! Oh, that's right. Me shield broke. I had to fight him manually. Why are you so pissed off? Take the gun! Take the gun! Take the gun! And you're still pissed off. Come on, you scallywags! There's too many of them! Get me out of here! Uh oh, get in. This is where you fall. Are you done?
You better be done. It's about time they finally stop. Like, what the heck? Why did they attack me for no reason? Looks like they dropped some souls. Oh, this one drops an enchanted book. Soul speed? Ah, I got really interrupted by a skeleton. All right, let's get out of here. I like that call. Don't want to be stuck down here. The book in Quina. Let's see. 120.69. Maybe once I get back, he can play. I like the sound of that. We found some goodies in there, and we actually found a lot of those nether warts. So now we can make some potions. Okay, I think I'm actually gonna eat some food. Oh no, not the ghast. Stay away from it. Ah, they're so creepy with their noises. They're really terrifying. They may not look terrifying, but they sound terrifying. Oh, creepings are the big baby. I can't help it, they sound scary. And I thought you were a tough pirate. Sometimes I am. Not all the time, though. No. Mr. Portal, where are ye? There it is. You are. Ah, Nether Portal, it's good to see ye again. All right, Discover. Here you go. Thanks, Russell. Okie dokie. Let's see what's next on the list. Farm animals and complete the farm. I think we can complete the farm because that's not going to take long. Let's just put everything in the chest. Oh, yeah. We need the Nether Warts to put them in the farm. Let's get the seeds out, carrots, potatoes. Okay. Let's go in the farm. Oh, Kevin arranged it for us. It's looking pretty nice. All right, so this one will be the wheat. This one could be carrots. Potatoes can go here. Melons. Melons can go here. Pumpkins can come here. This one. What can go here? Oh, I know. Beetroots. And this is where the netherworts are going to go. Oh, yeah. This farm's looking great. Now we just let them sit and grow. That farm is not fully complete yet. We still got to find cocoa beans from the jungle biome. I don't know where that could go. Who knows how far the jungle is? So now what we need to do is we need to go find some more farm animals. And we're going to need some wheat for the cows. And how are you supposed to bring the cows? They're attracted to wheat. That's what Kevin said. So we have one of each animal. He's got a rabbit, a cow, a pig, and a chicken. So we need one more of each animal. What's with the empty pen? Oh, I think that's for a horse that he's going to have us get. I'm not sure where he got the rabbits, though. Oh, yeah. Look at that. He's got a cow. One of you's got to go. Sorry. Come on. Come to Disco Bear. You're going to be having a nice little friend. Come on in. All right. We managed to get a cow. Rabbits love carrots. Uh, you're probably going to need to get some carrots. Oh, man. I just put them all in there in the farm. Now we're going to have to take one out. Apparently. Okay, fine. Now, if I were rabbits, where would I be? What Kevin did, he's went to a little desert and he found some rabbits. But for some reason, they were hopping so slow. So what he did, he had to get a lead to bring the rabbit to the pen. So we're going to have to go get a lead and make sure the rabbit gets home safely. He did put him in the materials chest. Watch out, little rabbits. I'm going to take you home nice and safely. So the rabbits are supposed to spawn here. Some of them, at least. Oh, there's one right there. I think it's a baby. Yeah, it's a baby. Look how slow he's hopping. They're supposed to be hopping fast away, but he's hopping really slowly. I think they're actually bugged. Well, I guess they're easier to catch, but if you have a carrot, they're going to be hopping very slow. So if you see rabbits hopping like this, just make sure you grab a lead. Ah, uh, here we go. Here's a couple of rabbits. I'm taking you. Come on, little buddy. Why does that make me nervous? What make me nervous? Oh no, the rabbit died. Did he fall down the hole? I think he might have. You need to watch where you're going. Oh no, I gotta go back for it. There's a chicken. Do you like carrots? No, they are actually like seeds. I got some seeds right here. Come on, little buddy. I'll come back for the rabbit. Oh, the sun's going down. Come on, hurry up. Mobs will be spawning soon. And there we go. So now we need to go back for the rabbits, and then we can get a pig if we find one. We need to find that desert again, and let's hope the rabbit doesn't fall down the hole this time and die. Now come with me, and please don't die. Come on, little fella. Captain Russell here is going to take nice care of you. Disco creepers. <laughs> Oh, not to be cool to see a disco creeper. That would not be cool to see one for me. It would be a competition between creeper the boogies and me. Clearly, I'm the better dancer, and I get more chicks. Do you get more chicks? Um, no. I don't know why the girls don't like you. It's because I always hit on them, and I can't hit on every single one. Because they think, ooh, you're so weird. What I'm not. You just need to be more social. That's what I'm trying to do, but they just push me away. Come on, ye good rabbits. These suckers are really annoying. Now we need to just find a pig. So what else were we going to do? Do we try fishing? Oh, I love fishing. That's a good idea. And now we can do fishing, we could probably go back and get some more blaze rods to make potions. Oh yeah, we also needed to try and find a horse. 
horse. So we're gonna keep one saddle. We're gonna keep a horse armor too. Oh yeah, we need a shield. We can't go back in the nether if we don't have a shield. There's the shield. There's the shield. I guess we can go back in the nether. See if we can get some more of that blaze rod. And when we come back, we'll craft a brewing stand. You know what? I'm still playing, right? Oh yeah, that's right. My bad. Hey, why are you hitting me? Did he even look at you? Yeah, you better stay back. Keep fighting you. Thank you for that. Here's the gravel. Uh oh. Gas! Run! Run! Book it! Book it! And a manicure. Ah, book deck. Alright, now that I'm away from the gas, I can be fine now. Back to the fortress we go. Ahoy! We be back! I don't think they're gonna be coming after you. No kidding, Disco Bear. I'm gonna go find them myself. I hear you stupid withered skeleton. Oh! He dropped his skull. How? Those are a really rare chance to drop. Skulls are really hard to get. Stay down! You stay down, and you stay down. You can't stop this pirate. Yeah! Alright, I think that should be enough phrases. Let's head home and start making potions. Arr! Ghast! Die! Thanks for the boost, you scallywag! Later! I'm nice to have a dog to protect you from my mom, so it's easier to do what you need to do. And the cat has to keep creepers away. Oh, that's really nice. Maybe we should get them. Okay, I guess I can go again. We need three pieces of cobblestone. Right here. Okay, let's see. No, no. Bingo. Yeah, let's put it right there. And we have our own little brewing sand. And we need blaze powder just to fuel it. Half of it can go in here. Half of it can go in here. So now what we need to do, we need to get our water bottle from up here and make a little potion. What little potion should we make today? I think we should make that fire resistant potion just in case. Yeah, that's a good call. All right, welcome to brewing class, ladies and gentlemen. I am Disco Bear and I will be your instructor for today. We're going to be making a fire resistance potion. Potion. So what you're gonna need, a water bottle, nutter warts, marimba cream, and redstone. Just need one of each. Now first things first, you gotta put your water bottle in the brewing stand. You gotta put your nutter wart at the top. It's gonna take some time to brew. It's gonna take a few seconds, maybe like 20 seconds. Alright class, now that you put that in, you should get an aqua potion. What you do next, if you want to make in any potion general, you put any material that you want. Let's say you want to make your fire resist potion, put the maverick cream up top. You wait for the same amount of time as you did for the aqua potion. Alright, so now, if you want to make it last longer, you put a piece of redstone up there. Instead of making it three minutes long, it's going to last eight minutes long. You're a really good teacher. Thank you. Should take a little bit longer, and... There you go, you have eight minutes of fire resistance. And you just drink it, and you're good. That's the lesson for today. So we still need to find a pig. We do need to get a carrot, because they are attracted to carrots. You heard me, little wandering trader. They're attracted to the carrots. Let's go find one, and hopefully a horse. That was really funny. We need carrots, and he just goes, huh? It's just perfect timing, that's what it was. My sister and husband were playing Final Nights Freddy's 4. My sister got scared because she got jump scared by a nightmare. Yeah, that's funny. I sure wish I wouldn't want to play it because I'd scream. Would you scream like another girl, or would you scream like a demon? Probably like a demon. Kind of figured. That's what you sounded like in Dead Eye Derby. That game stopped working. What? Did it really stop working? Apparently, it just gave back. It's giving it like an invalid response to everybody, every single user. Uh huh, a horse. You gotta ride it. Well, that was fast. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a horse. Get in up, horsey. Yee haw. I didn't know you're a cowboy now. Well, I can be. Get me a little buddy. You're going in this pen. What should we name our little horse that we just found? I'm going to sleep. I'll sleep like. Thank you. Okay, so far we've pretty much completed most of our objectives, but we still need to get a pig. We have sugar canes. Oh yeah, we need to have sugar canes in the farm. Looks like Kevin's gonna have to extend the fence. Name the horse David. Okay. Boop. Yar. We are now called David from now on, okay? Let's see what this wandering trader has. Bruh. You useless scallywag. <laughs> Just stupid llamas out of here too. Wandering traders have nothing good. And it's raining. That'd be the perfect time to go fishing because we get more stuff. Okay, now we fish. Why are you fishing in the rain? You have better chances of getting uh, the name tags. If it's not raining, then there's a lower chance of it because more junk starts popping up when it's raining. So what I've heard from the internet. Now pirates have fish. I love fish. It's so delicious. I love seafood in general. What's your favorite uh, seafood then? Uh, sushi, tuna fish sandwich. Kevin also likes that. Lobster. I love lobster. I love clams too. Have you listened to the song called You Are a Pirate? I listen to that song every single day. I love singing along to it. If I don't listen to the song, I would not be called a pirate then. I'd just be called just a normal person or a sea otter. You can't always listen to the same song every day because it's going to get stuck in your head. I've always had one song stuck in my head. The Rabbi Michael Jackson? How did you know? I hear you blasting it on your stupid boombox every single day. Thoughts on Handy? He's pretty nice, but I can't always make jokes about his hands because he gets offended. He goes, 
<laughs> he's very sensitive when it comes to jokes about his hands. Don't some flippy. He's a good friend. Before he uh, flips out, I was very cautious of him. I had to stay away from him when he flipped out. Same for me. I didn't know he flipped out when I was riding on a plane, and uh, you probably guess what happened then. Kevin told me that I don't know how he got Flippy out of Flippy's head. You know, Flippy's just his own person. Kevin's got the magic touch. Hey, get out of the way! Turn the fish here, you scatterbag! Don't come back! Oh, it's getting dark out! Alright, let's go back. Here, take the controller. Okie dokie. Let's go find us a pig. Should we grab the sheep? No, Kevin said not to grab the sheep, because they're eating a lot of grass, and once they eat it, I don't think it's probably gonna grow back for a while. If they're in a small pen. Piggy, where are you? Come on, come to Disco Bear. I got a little treat for you. Oh yeah, a delicious carrot. I think I heard an oink. Did I hear an oink? Oh, oh, that was a wolf. Oh wait, I have bones. I can tame it. Oh yeah, I got us a little doggy now. Come on, boy, go home. Welcome to your new home. That's sick. Good boy. That's a good dog. Oh yeah, you are so cute. You guys have pets in your world? Yeah, but I didn't have a dog uh, come after me, and it was vicious. How vicious was that? Let's go one to ten. It was about a twenty. It was a small dog too. <laughs> Okay, now that's just funny. You're getting attacked by a small dog. You should have seen what he did. He was biting my clothes off. He was biting my arm, my legs. He was biting my hair, too. Okay, we managed to get a pig. All right, so let's see what we got. We have completed our farm. We have gotten a horse. We've completed the pens. We have completed all of our objectives. And we also got a nice little pet here. Cats are passive. Tameable mobs often found wandering in villages. A single black cat cat can also be found at a witch hut. Cats scare away creepers. I think there was a desert village somewhere nearby. We can go look for that. See if we can find cats. Hopefully there will be a cat by the desert village. Then we'll be in luck. We will have two pets. More pets the better. Well, we just need one dog and one cat. That's about it. There's a desert village. Hopefully there are cats here. If not, then that's gonna be very disappointing. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. I got fish. <gasps> Look, it's a cat. Come here. Don't be afraid. Hey, come back. It's okay. I'm friendly. Hi. Oh, wow. Cool. This little sucker's really, really picky. Come on. Come on. You got it. Aha! We got ourselves a cat. Come on, let's go home. Oh yeah, we managed to get a lot of progress done. We got a farm set up, we got two pets, we got a brewing stand now. Everything's going planned. Hey little doggo, got you a nice little friend. Actually, you two can come upstairs. That was good. We're gonna call in here. We managed to find another fortress, we got blaze rods, we oh. ate a brewing stand, we managed to complete our farm, finished our pens, and we got a horse. We also got two pets. What a great way to end it. I love Minecraft. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you leave a like. That's a good way to show your support. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and make sure you turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any uploads or content on Kevin's channel. Be sure to let him know down in the comments below what other Happy Tree Friends characters you want to see play other games. Make sure you follow Kevin on Twitter, Kevin Green Fox. He will link his Discord and his Twitter in the description below and make sure you join it because there's lots of people not coming to the server. That's all we gotta say. This is Russell. This is this Go, man. Signing up. See you later, Nazis later. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>